All right, thanks very much, Mel. Good morning, Mike. How are you, sir? I'm well, thank you, Roger. How are you? I can't complain, and uh, good news for drivers, especially for this long weekend. Kids being mm -hmm. moved various places, gas dropping. Yeah, uh, lowest price I think we've seen this summer below a buck fifteen per liter. Shop around, it can be found much less than that. But what's been going on here, Roger, is the fact that the price for oil this uh, month of August is down now by six percent, and a lot of this has to do with uh, trade fears and recession risks and all the other things we've been talking about for several days now. It's affected the price for oil, but it is at the same time giving consumers a little bit of a break at the pumps. And of course, we will be watching to see what happens again going into. The Labor Day long weekend. Wouldn't be a bit surprised to see it go up a little bit because the price for oil is starting to bounce just a little bit in the early trade. All right. It's the only industry where it fluctuates like this. It's crazy. <laughs> uh, Peloton. Yes. Is uh, looking to raise some cash. Yeah, they're going public. Uh, yep. This is this interactive uh, fitness bike company. It's massive. Which, uh, I know Frankie has one. Yeah, and you know what? The, the, they're losing money at this point. It's a new company, right? Yep. So they're rolling it out and they're starting up and uh, lots of sales and the growth. They've got 74 locations. And one key metric that 92% of the people who have purchased these Peloton bikes, they're not cheap, but you've got this interactive um, uh, video screen that you're following on various routes and such and, and uh, uh, programs. 92% of people who have bought the bikes have mm -hmm. maintained their subscription. So that's key. That's huge return. It is. So yep. it, it's not one of these things that people go, huh, I'm not going to use it. And then put they're it actually, away. And, it, and it's the subscription fees, right? So uh, they're looking to raise about a half billion dollars. And at the same time, uh, the stock will go out on the NASDAQ at PTON is the ticker symbol. All right. We'll keep an eye out for that, see how it does. Uh, Costco in China. Yep. Off the charts. <laughs> Unbelievable. And Costco stock hit a record yesterday because they first they opened their first store in China. I didn't know they hadn't, didn't have any there, but anyway. Um, they do now. They do now. And they've had to restrict the peak number of people going in because the store was just overrun yesterday. They had problems with the checkout. They had to close it early just because it sold out so quick. And it is going to be huge in China. And like I say, Costco threw the roof on Wall Street in yesterday's trade. All right, Mike. Thank you, sir. Have a great day. You're welcome.